So in the first question, you're asked to draw projections, okay? So this is going over sinograms, right? This is how uh, computer tomography works, right? Uh, so in the first question, you're asked to draw projections at multiple angles at theta equal to zero, 45, 90, and 135, okay? And then draw the resulting sinogram, okay? And there's a note that there are, there are four objects here, okay? So you have this big circle, that's object one, and you have this object two, then this little triangle is object three, and then this little circle, object four, okay? So there's four uh, objects here, okay? And the area around here, you know, is air, and uh, the dark areas correspond to uh, higher attenuation coefficient or higher uh, uh, density. Okay, so let me let me just demonstrate how I would do. Okay, so at theta equal to zero is going to be down here. Okay, so here down here is where your de your detectors are, right, and we're plotting the projection or the intensity profile, right? So that's gonna be the projection of S at a given theta equal to zero, right? So this is a S for theta equal to zero, okay? And uh, in the middle here is where S is equal to zero and going this direction uh, is positive and going this direction is negative, right? In the detectors, okay? And at theta equal to zero, you have x-rays coming down in this direction, right? So these are the x-rays, okay? And uh, as they come down, uh, as they go through this area here, it doesn't go through anything, so it gives an intensity of zero. The projection is zero, right? Remember, the projection is how thick it is times the linear density, right? Okay, so the thicker it gets, the bigger the projection. The higher the density, the higher the, project, the projection, okay? But as uh, it comes here and starts to go through some of the material here, it'll start uh, making a projection, a profile, right? And it'll, so, so it'll start looking something like this, okay? Until we get to uh, this box here, it's going to change the shape a little bit. Now, because it's a box, it's going to look kind of like uh, this. Okay. Uh, so the shape will look kind of like this. Okay. It's not going to be, uh, it's not going to look like that. Instead, it's going to look flat on top, right? Because this is uh, the shape of this uh, is, uh, uh, square is uh, a square shape, okay? And then when you get to the edge of this little triangle here, uh, this is gonna make kind of like a little peak here, okay? And then when you get to this here, it'll make a little uh, blip like that, and then it'll come down like that, okay? That's what the projection will look like, okay? So as it gets thicker, the projection increases, and as it goes through high, more density material, uh, the projection increases, okay? So this is what the projection would look like at theta equal to zero. Okay, so this is one way to look at the projections. Uh, another way to look at the projection is to draw out the detectors, the bank of detectors, right? So these are the detectors in the machine, right? On this side, you got the x-ray tube. In the middle, you got the patient. And on the other side, you got your bank of detectors that are, are uh, scintillators, right? That scintillate as they're exposed to ionizing radiation, and then they expose, uh, they luminesce and uh, ex um, uh, re-emit visible light. And these detectors are photosensitive uh, circuits, okay? So 
right here, it'll start picking up some signal, right? But uh, here, where it gets to this box, it's gonna be brighter, right? So maybe I'll make it a little bit brighter like that, okay? And then a little bit dark here. When it gets to this triangle, it gets bright again. And then when I get to this section here, it gets bright again. And then it gets dark, and then it's dark uh, at the end here. The remaining detectors are are uh, zero, right? Okay. So you're asked to draw the projections at multiple angles and then put together the sinogram, right? So the sinogram, all you do is uh, plot the S detectors versus theta, okay? So this, so I just take this S detector, okay? And I just bring it down here and I'm gonna plot like this, okay? This is gonna be S versus theta, okay? Uh, so, uh, I'll take that first one at theta equal to zero. Here's right here, theta equal to zero, right? Okay, and I'll just put that first bank of detectors right here. And I'll notice that uh, uh, I gotta keep this straight. This side is the positive side, right? This is positive, this side's negative, right? So this, I'm gonna make the positive here and negative here, okay? In the middle is S equal to zero, right? So what will I have if I if I take that and just plot it uh, down there? What will I have? I'll have uh, I'll have uh, something starting to show up right about here, and then uh, where where this is, it'll get dark. Okay, so this will be my circle. Okay, and then it'll it'll get light again. And then where this triangle is, it'll get dark again. This will be my little triangle. And then uh, on this side here, okay, so this is this is this, this is this, and this is gonna be right here. This is where uh, remember it's gonna produce a sinogram, right? The sinogram produces kind of these sine wave looking traces, right? So these are the kind of the beginning of those, these traces. And then it kind of gets uh, light again and then goes back to zero, right? So that's a theta equal to zero, okay? So that's a theta equal to zero. Let's take, take, let's take a look at uh, theta equal to uh, 90 degrees. So 90 degrees is going to be, let's just say, right about here, okay? Of course, you're, I asked you to do for 45. Do the same thing for 45, but let's just, uh, I'll just jump to 90 degrees, okay? So 90 degrees uh, is, ro we're going to rotate this way, right? Okay, and so this is now S. And, and uh, for theta equal to 90 degrees, okay? This is the projection, okay? And this time we have the X-rays coming from this direction, okay? So let's go through this. As X-rays come through this direction, Okay, as they're coming through this way, and they start to go through some of the material, it'll start to produce uh, some profile like this, right? And when it gets to this, the linear density is increasing, so it's going to create kind of a uh, a blip like like this, and then here. When it gets to the these these guys overlap right it's going to make kind of something like this okay and then it'll come back down like that the profile will look something like that 
So what will I be looking for? Okay, I'll be looking for, uh, notice there's no, there's no, uh, no blips over here on this side of the profile, right? Uh, I'll be looking for the general shape, okay? Uh, and I'll be looking for the general shape, especially on, on these easy ones like theta equals zero. This will produce this kind of a square looking top. This will produce kind of a triangle looking top. And this will produce kind of a uh, uh, circular uh, top like this, right? Okay. So, uh, and also notice that uh, because this larger gray circle, this larger uh, area here, this larger circle is not really a circle, it's more ellip elliptical, right? So at theta equal to zero, it appears broad, right? But at theta equal to 90 degrees, it appears narrow, right? It's more narrow, right? So again, if I just take these, uh, uh, right, these bank of detectors, right? You gotta keep track, right? Positive is over here, because you know, just this whole thing just rotated this way. So positive and negative stays where they were, right? Here's my bank of detectors. They're just rotated, okay? Uh, I should get something showing up like, like here, and then where this blip is, it should get a little bit darker. And then in the middle, it should get even darker. And then out here, slowly uh, uh, fades out like that. So my detectors might be something like that, okay? So if I take that theta equal to 90 and just bring it down here, okay? <clears throat> Uh, and uh, plot it down here, I should get uh, uh, something like this. So uh, let me draw out these detectors real quick. It should be light here, uh, light about here, and then start getting dark here where this first, where this first blip starts happening right there, right? Uh, then there should be a darker blip here where the middle is happening, right there. And then the, it should just slowly get uh, uh, fade out, right? And overall, this should be more narrow than this uh, the theta equals zero. So out here, the projection from here to here let's say is like from here to here, right? But as you rotate, it gets uh, narrow like that, right? And as you keep going, you'll see that it, it comes back and does it again, okay? As you keep going. So that this, this is the outer big circle, okay? Now for the little circle, uh, for, uh, this here, let's take it one at a time. This here is the triangle, right? This here is the little circle and the square, okay? So the triangle is right here, okay? And uh, the triangle had started out here in the middle, right? So it went, it went something like this. Okay, the circle and the square, the circle went something like this and the square, the square is this one right here, right? This one right here went something like this. Now the screen will come back in just a second. Okay, so there's kind of the beginning of my sinogram. That's for two, two different angles. And I can uh, connect the traces and I can see that, uh, so what will I be looking for? 
at theta equal to zero, uh, the, the circle, the triangle, the square should be three separate, separate traces. The circle should be on the positive side, the, the square should be on the negative side. But at theta equal to 90, so here's theta equal to 90, okay? Now the circle and the square should be in the center, right? Because here they line up. In this projection, they line up in the, in the center, right? So from the projection at theta equal to 90, they appear to be one object. Okay, uh, and the triangle should move off to the left-hand side, right? Because at theta equal to 90, this triangle is now, the projection now ends up on the negative side of the middle of the detectors. So it should be on the negative side, okay? And then you keep going, uh, draw, draw the next data for uh, what, theta equal to 135? for theta equal to 45, for theta equal to 180. I should have included 180 in the question. You should do 180 as well. Uh, and then uh, plot the sinograms together and label which, which trace is which object. And you should see that uh, at theta equal to 180, it'll be just flipped, right? It'll be flipped from theta equal to zero, right? Theta equal to 180, the detectors are going to be up here now. Okay. Remember, the positive will be over here, negative will be over here, and x rays will be coming the other direction. It'll be exactly flipped from theta equal to zero. Okay. And if you need more help with this, I can meet, I can meet with you uh, individually also and, and help you with this as well. Let me, let's just take a quick look at this. Uh, so let's just take a quick look at this other one. So at theta equal to zero, remember theta equal to zero is always down here, right? Theta equal to zero. This is for S. This is the projection, okay? Uh, and the X-rays are coming down here at theta equal to zero. Uh, here, when it starts going through the object, this is gonna produce something that looks like that, okay? And then there should then it should go back to zero because there's a gap in between here. And then when it starts going through that square, it should produce something like that. That should be flat. Okay. And then when it starts to go through this diamond, it'll look something like this. Okay. So notice they have different shapes, projections, because they have different thicknesses and different uh, linear densities, right? So this is at theta equal to zero. Uh, and if I do it, if I rotate to theta equal to 90, okay, now what's going to happen? Well, they all line up, right? So this is just going to make some sort of shape like this. Okay, which is very different than uh, the projection at theta equals zero. So when you draw the sinogram, right? When you put together the sinogram at theta equal to zero, you're gonna have three different objects, right? This is plus, this is minus. In the middle is where S equals zero, okay? So in the middle is where S equals zero. This is the plus, this is the minus. Okay, uh, you should have on the negative side, you should have the circle, okay. Producing some, some object like that. In the middle, you should have uh, the square. And then on the positive side, you should have the diamond, right? But at theta equal to 90, These should all be on top of each other, right? This should go here. This is gonna stay in the middle. And this is gonna go here. And they're all gonna be on top of each other. 
right? And, and what you'll see is that it'll continue uh, doing that, okay? So just go through it step by step for each angle, draw out the projection, and then compile the projection as S versus theta on the bottom, okay? Any questions on that?